Ayana Dagbashian and you're watching the news broadcast on the state television company of Western Armenia. Today's broadcast. The frozen surface of Lake Van of Western Armenia. The commander of Sefova's detachment, Rustam Gasparyan, posthumously awarded the highest title of Artsakh hero. Pope prays for peace in Nagorno-Karabakh. The help of Russian Air Force in liberating the southeastern part of Idlib region. Yervan My Love Foundation hosted children of displaced families from Hadrut. Today is the day of remembrance of composer Armen Tigranyan. The surface of Lake Van is partially frozen due to the severely cold weather in Arches, Van, Western Armenia. At night, the air temperature in Arches was below 18 degrees, as a result of which the shores of Lake Van were covered with ice. Severe winters are common in different regions of Western Armenia, but every season of the year has its magical scenes. Rustam Gasparyan, a former member of the National Assembly and commander of the Sefova's detachment, was posthumously awarded the Golden Eagle Order, the highest title of Artsakh hero. The president of Artsakh, Arey Kartunyan, handed the title to Gasparyan's relatives during a commemorative event on December 25 in Armavi. Earlier, Rustam Gasparyan was posthumously awarded the title of Honorary Citizen of Armavir. Let us remind you that the commander of Sefova's detachment, former deputy Rustam Gasparyan, has passed away on October 17, 2020. Pope Francis delivered his traditional Urbi at Orbi to the City in the World message. On Christmas, Pope Francis prayed that the international community be supported in efforts to maintain the ceasefire in Nagorno-Karabakh. The Pope recalled the military conflicts of the past year in Nagorno-Karabakh, Syria, Iraq, Yemen, Libya, Israel and Palestine. Let the Son of God support the commitment of the international community, the countries involved in Nagorno-Karabakh, as well as the continuation of the ceasefire in the eastern regions of Ukraine, the Pope said. In addition, he called on the world to unite and to help countries affected by conflicts, humanitarian crises and natural disasters. The Chief of General Staff of the Russian Armed Forces, Valery Gerasimov, announced that the southeastern part of the Idlib region in Syria was liberated from the militants with the participation of Russian Air Force. He stated this at a briefing on foreign military attachments and added, In response to regular terrorist attacks on peaceful settlements, attacks on the positions of government troops and on Russian military facilities, the Syrian army had to liberate the southeastern part of the Idlib de-escalation zone with the support of Russian Air and Space Forces. As a result of the actions taken, a significant part of the area returned to the control of government forces. Due to that, the possibility of shelling Khmeimim Air Base and Aleppo is currently excluded. The M5 highway was also cleared. On New Year's Eve, the Yerevan Myla Foundation organized an interactive event for several children displaced from Hadrut and living in Armenia. Within the framework of the event, the children got acquainted with the Armenian literary and cultural heritage, demonstrated their knowledge and met with Santa Claus. As reported by Armen Press, Yerevan Myla Foundation informed about this. Director of the Yerevan Myla Foundation, Harar Ghambaryan, noted that it is especially important to return childhood and the New Year miracle to children who have seen war and were displaced as a result of it. Despite the evils and hardships they have seen this year, the expectations of children remain the same. Therefore, we decided to encourage them with this small event and assure that everything will be fine. At the end of the event, Santa Claus handed presents to the children. Armen Tigranyan was an Armenian music composer and conductor. He is the honored art worker of the USSR and the GSSR and the founder of the Armenian National Opera. Tigranyan was born in Alessandropoli. From an early age, he played the flute and participated in the concerts of the school brass band. In 1894, he moved to Tbilisi with his family. In 1902, he graduated from a music college, returned to Alessandropoli and organized four-part chores in school. He toured with the chore in Tbilisi, Baku, and Kars. In 1908, Tigranyan started writing his first opera, Anush, which laid the foundation for a new stylistic direction in the Armenian musical theater. Anush was first staged in 1912 in Alessandropol and in 1935 in Yerevan. The melodies created by the composer have spread, becoming popular. Tigranyan has lived in Tbilisi since 1913 and participated in the activities of the Armenian Music Society. In the 1920s and 1930s, Tigranyan composed a number of songs, chores, and piano plays. He wrote music for the theater. Streets and music schools were named after Tigranyan in Yerevan and Gyumri. There is also a house museum in Gyumri. Armen Tigranyan is buried in Yerevan Central Cemetery. Now we present you a song Anush by Muradyan Ensemble. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
full version of the song is available in the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.